and I think you're going to like what we have to say. Um, as everybody knows, I'm really, I love Teespring, and the reason I love Teespring because I've seen people make 40000 I have had a friend that was making $100,000 a year, so Teespring is huge, and you can make a lot of money doing Teespring. And, um, but the problem was with Teespring for me was that I was outsourcing everything. And what I mean outsourcing is with getting my T-shirts made from somewhere else. Like if I'm spending 10 or $15 to get a T-shirt made, you know what? That's going to cut down my ROI, which is return on investment. Right, Christy? Absolutely. You know, I was telling Steve a minute ago that when I tried to use GIMP and some of those other programs, I'm not really good at, really, really good at that designing and colors. It drove me absolutely crazy. And I was so frustrated. And so I needed a solution. And that's what we're going to talk to you about today. We have Brad, Steve Hahn. We're so happy to have you all with us today. But okay. You know what? Um, I'm going to tell you, Brad is really huge in the market where that he really knows a lot of how to actually um, get things done, especially with Teespring. And if you're going to listen to anybody, I would listen to what he has to say because he knows how to take it to the second level. Um, Teespring, how, I know that um, when you actually came out with this, what actually, um, what was the motivation for that, Brad? For this product? The, the, yes. For me, the, the big thing was uh, that I saw a lot of people were, you know, my, my business is mainly design and, and graphics, uh, stock vectors, stock photos, that kind of stuff. That's the majority of my business now. Uh, in fact, I'm going to Licensing Expo in Vegas uh, next month. Uh, you know, Disney's going to be there. It's it's all licensing of graphics and cartoons and that kind of stuff. And that's my realm. And I understand that world uh, intrinsically. I started out as a designer early on, um, and kind of you know jumped the shark to 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 you know to being a, a an entrepreneur and, and business owner as opposed to a service provider. But um, long story short, I noticed a lot of people are doing these Teespring products, and I noticed a lot of people are doing Teespring campaigns. A lot of people are crushing it selling T-shirts. I mean, it, I'm amazed at some of the numbers I'm seeing that people are pulling, you know, from from Teespring campaigns. And honestly, I never thought you know that much money could be made selling T-shirts until until I saw I, I was hanging out with Don Wilson in, in Vegas, and he was you know telling me some of the money he was making selling hoodies and stuff like that. Like, Damn, this is you know there's 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 a, a market here for me as 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 a as a person who sells templates and designs and so I teamed up with Steve and 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 we put this product together mainly because I see so many people going to like fiber.com and you know easy outsource and some of these other you know places where I mean look you can get decent stuff made for 5 bucks sure uh, but is that person going to be recycling probably uh, is that person going to be you know you run a lot of risks when you deal with with these sort of cheap outsourcers. A lot of them are using images that aren't, you know, they're subject to copyright, and there's so many pitfalls and so many sort of um, scary what ifs. But the big one for me, and you know, I'm just I have I have you know internet marketers ADD, and if I put up a you know if I put up a, I'll give you a perfect example. I put up something on Fiverr just uh, last week that I wanted done, and I've already lost interest because it hasn't been done yet. You know, and waiting five or six days for a guy to do a five dollar design for you while you you know you want to hit the ground running, make money today. I'd rather have some templates and look at one and say, hey, that one's cool. Open it up in Photoshop or Illustrator or one of these other graphic apps, you know, that that are, that are free like Inkscape or whatever, and edit it, and at least be able to uh, you know start the the testing process right away. You know, maybe maybe get some other designs done in the, it, it, as well, but. To be able to to really test my ideas, because a lot of the T-shirt stuff that we're seeing now, it's not so much the design as it is the words, um, and the you know the, the the words that are being used, that's what's going to sell the T-shirt. And you know you start trying, you start testing a variety of designs, but this allows you to you know I want to put up a, tea, a Teespring campaign and Facebook ads in the next hour. This is what's going to get you there. Oh, that that's awesome. And you know what? Like I said before, it's it's great when you can actually pop one out in a couple minutes. And actually, just run with it instead of waiting maybe two days, a week, or whatever. And you actually have control of the whole design. So it's like when you order something, it may not be what you really wanted exactly, even though you approved it. But you can always mm. split test things too, and that's the best way that I like it because you can try this one. Okay, if this one's not going as well, maybe if I did this, and all of a sudden you're split testing all throughout the Facebook, and now you're really making money, and that's the way to do things. So um, I'm telling you, as that I love the concept. I'm actually I'm telling you. This is the first thing that I'm going to use in my Teespring business because I spend so much money outsourcing this out, which that now my profit is actually going down lower instead of going higher. 
So if I have something like this where I can put a template in there, and it's actually very easy, easy to use and very user friendly. That's what I like about it. Any person that's even that knows how to maybe copy and paste or write or type something or click and drag, that's how simple it is to do. So you know what, guys? Um, the one thing about it is that what I would do is I would use this and I would actually start Facebook groups out and possibly you know outsource a lot of this myself. Would you actually agree? Or what would you say with that, Brad? Definitely. I mean, look, there's you know with so many templates, uh, you know, one of the ideas that keeps kind of coming up over and over again is the idea of look, everybody's zigging, and if you want to zag, that's the only way you're going to make money, right? And if everybody's hiring, you know, the same three or four dudes on Fiverr to make T-shirt designs, they're all going to be boxed into a certain look and feel and style. These are a completely different look, feel, style. So what I would recommend is the some of the best T-shirts are the ones that hit the funny angle. Uh, people love comedy. They love you know they love to make people laugh with their T-shirts, uh, or or something controversial or something that you know that makes people proud. Those are kind of the three things that really hit on T-shirts. That, that's what I've noticed. It's you know it, it's always like you know something about being a nurse or something about you know something funny or whatever that might be. So you could you know while while other people are hiring designers, you can take these templates and hire writers. And so writers aren't doing t-shirts right now, but if you start to look at it this way and say, hey, I could hire a, a comedy writer. Comedy writers are very easy to find, even on Fiverr. Um, I, you know, I could hire a, you know, just, just a really witty, you know, really good writer that can come up with some of these slogans and say, hey, I'm targeting nurses. I'm targeting you know, graduates of college. or I'm you know, Whatever it is that you're targeting, I want you to come up with, they, they don't even have to see the templates. You could say, I want you to come up with 20 uh, you know, one-liner slogans that I can use or whatever and, and pay people to do that kind of stuff and then you can apply them to these designs and hit the ground running with with something that's a little bit different to what everybody else is doing and, and, and especially now Teespring is so popular everybody's, you know, a lot of people are doing t-shirts it's not a saturated market by any stretch because all you have to do is be the person who comes up with something new and cool and fresh uh, but if everybody's trying to get the designers to do that Here's what's happening. A lot of people who aren't writers and aren't they aren't they aren't professionally funny. Um, you know, I, I actually you know I, I went to Second City and learned comedy you know from the best people and and one of the things I learned there was if you want really good comedy you hire comedy writers and I actually met comedy writers there that work for Peanuts. These guys they're not you know they're not driving Bentleys okay they're you know like throw twenty bucks at them and they'll write you some funny stuff so. Um, you know, hire some hire some really good writers to come up with some slogans to put on your T-shirt designs, and you're going to do something differently. That's huge. Um, and if anybody that doesn't realize how much money is really in Teespring, um, he mentioned his friend Don, and this guy is. I mean, maybe I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but I would be surprised he already made a million dollars in Teespring. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know. I'm, I, don't, I don't ask people's numbers usually, but I know he's doing. I know he's doing very well, uh, both on the Teespring side and with his group of people who are who are you know masterminding with him on the T-shirt side. I know. I know collectively with his group, there's way more than a million bucks being made, and uh, you know we're talking probably more like tens of millions of dollars have been made. You know, just just in T-shirts alone. Exactly. And so if you guys like started a fan page, you get all these guys in there. Look at the look at the business you have. See. There's one thing I've always said, and um, and I'm gonna tell you, and I've heard this from one of my buddies. He says, "You want to sell the maps, okay? You want to sell the picks and shovels. You want you don't want to go out there gold mining because that's how you get rich is selling the maps. And you're, and this is the way you sell the maps to these people that want to go out there and they want to market their own T-shirts. Now they come to you." instead of Fiverr because you got quality. I'm just telling you, this is going to be a huge business for everybody, and especially if you're a Teespringer yourself. You don't have to outsource this stuff ever again, and that's the cool thing about it, really. And um, how many templates are there, um, Brad, around? I know there's tons. Uh, what do we have, Steve? It's, it's over 100 templates, right? 100 to 120. Wow. 120. wow. You, wow, Steve, you mentioned that you can blow these up, too. Yep, yep. They're, they're vector images, so they can literally be favicon sized or they can be you know as big as a, a building for posters or whatever you need it's uh, there's no limit on what you can do with the size of them and you know one thing I wanted to mention real quick is you know with these designs with 120 designs you can look out there into the world of entertainment or what's going on and I, I had one of the uh, templates I wanted to uh, to mess with and it was uh, just kinda had a little mountain range in the background 
And uh, remember Mount Everest, the, uh, all the Sherpas dying uh, a couple months ago. And it's, you just, you, I don't want to say capitalize on that, but, you know, for the people who are very passionate about that, you put a little Everest uh, rest in peace on the back and you put a Sherpas, you know, my Sherpa rocks is what I did for mine. Um, it's so easy to look at them and combine it with, with something that, uh, that's happening in today's world and you can put it together very easily. And Steve, you were, um, we were talking earlier, you said you don't have to do this just on t-shirts. What else can you do this with um, logos? And logos, websites, uh, it's, you know, all clothing, um, any, any type of graphic application that you, you need a design for, uh, you can use it for that. And uh, it's, it's pretty much limited only by, you know, what your uh, imagination stops you at. You can use these on your product box covers. You can use them on, you know, and you can be making embroidered hats with these designs. You could, you know, it doesn't have to just be T-shirts. And in fact, I think uh, it's 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 better to look at, you know, the sort of tangential stuff that's out there. You know, the 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 idea of everyone's doing T-shirts. Maybe I'll do hats. You know, everyone everyone's starting to do hats. Maybe I'll do, you know, I'll I'll go in this other direction. Um, you know, there, there's gym bags. There's a number of different things that you could be putting, uh, uh, you know, cool designs on. Not just t-shirts. Obviously, t-shirts are huge, but you know, the, the, this goes wide. I mean, logos definitely are, are are a big one. And I think Steve touched on something that I think is interesting. If if you have 120 templates, and you have an idea for a t-shirt, or just you know, you know who your target market is. If you can look at 120 designs. In, you know, at a glance, all at once, on your desktop, and say, "Hey, this this design suits my slogan." You know, this design suits my slogan, and, and to be able to to just, you know, have that sort of idea farm right in front of you, I think that's huge. Mm -hmm. That's that's really big. Um, Brad, um, what about the if they get the whole enchilada, and they get the developer's license? What does that include? I mean, this is huge for anybody that's really looking at something like this. So the developer license is essentially it allows you to have um, to have you know this work that you do for your clients and it, you know it's you can't resell the templates directly but you can modify them and resell them uh, any way that you want. So the idea of hiring a comedy writer and you can take all 120 of these designs and hire someone funny to write up real slogans to go with each one of these designs and then they're your templates. You can sell them you know you can sell them as as ready-made T-shirt designs. Uh, I, I think there's a you know I think the the potential there is unlimited when you start to look at the developer license. You know the personal license is for your own T-shirt campaigns, your own sort of internal you know in-house kind of stuff. Developer is normally for client work, but once you modify the designs, they're yours to sell. Exactly. Mind if I show the logos real quick? Go for it. No, yeah. not at all. Yeah, let me yeah. just jump right because I mean these are these are really cool. Yeah, I have a team of professional designers that work with me, and and you know, I like this vintage one. That's cool. I mean, these are these are really nice. I tell you, I mean, there's a lot of them. Here. I mean, there's a lot of them. Yeah, they're beautiful. I tell you, I tell you, you guys did a great job with this. Yeah. I mean, look at them all. Uh, which one's your favorite, um, Brad? <laughs> I like the one with the zombie face. <laughs> I can do oh, it. Right the renegade <laughs> guy? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. It's old school. That's, I like it a lot. Yeah, wow. I'm just telling you, go after folks. The, uh, go after the walk door bins. Yeah. I, I'm going to tell you, folks, I'm going to jump all over this, really. Um, I'm going to get this myself. That's all I can tell you. Um, I totally recommend this. If you're serious about your business, you should put your business at this level, really. Um, and this is something that's needed in every internet marketer. So, I mean, that, I mean, I give it two thumbs up, and I really mean this because I told Christy and Christy, um, can you explain how we're? I mean, we were going to give two thumbs up to anything unless we totally believe in a product, and I totally believe in this. This is something that you need, and I'm I'm being serious, guys, because if you don't be spinning your wheels and sit there, because Teespring is the wave of the future. What I actually do is I would take these and I actually would do hoodies. I've done an incredible business with hoodies. Really, and hoodies are just cool. You know, it's like you put it down. You know, it's just do not show out, whatever. It's just the way to be, really. And um, I love it. And um, if you guys don't jump on this, you're nuts. That's all I can tell you. Um, this is really a great product. And how do you get to it? You click right down there. Um, 
I'm going to actually have Brad, let Brad have the last thought. If somebody's like just hanging right on the fence and they say, should I get this or what should I do or what would you say to them? Uh, I'd say get off the fence and stop being a, a baby. It's, it's, it's time. <laughs> no, um, no the, the, the reality is this. Uh, you know, just, just for this short amount of time, I mean, this is we're doing this for, for, for peanuts. When you think about the cost per design, we're below $1.50 per design here. Uh, you know, it, 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 oh, sorry, we're, we're below, I think, 15 cents. What did, yeah. we, what did we figure it out per design? Anyway, whatever. It, it, I mean, the, the, the cost per actual design is so low that it's it's a no-brainer if you're in this space at all, if you're doing any kind of design work, whether it's T-shirts, logos, whatever it might be. But the other thing that we're doing in this short amount of time is, uh, I because Steve and I are partnered on this, Steve is, is a, 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 a coaching client of mine, and, and I, I want to make sure that this works really well. Most of you know I run a stock uh, Vector Cartoons website called Vector Tunes. We're actually mm -hmm. throwing in a gift certificate, uh, no purchase necessary, to Vector Tunes when you purchase this as well. So we've kind of totally reversed the risk on this and made it, uh, you know, dumb easy to buy because uh, you can take the cartoons from my website, Vector Tunes, and use them on other designs as well. So it kind of gives you that much more power to to crank out design work, and that's just during the launch period. But uh, you know, so that's I think that's the real thing to get you off the fence is is you're also getting that gift card. Wow, wow, that's a huge product. I tell you that that alone just it just it's like double the value, really, guys. Um, mm -hmm. All I can tell you is that um, don't think about it. Just grab it. Um, I promise you're going to love it, okay? It has a money-back guarantee. It, it's just um, these guys are phenomenal. I've seen it, and like I said before, I don't prove anything really as much. I'm going to tell you. I'm telling you, please get this. If not, just click the link on the bottom. Check it out because I promise you're going to love what you got. And not only that, but they believe in their product so much that they gave a guarantee on it. And you know what? What else are you going to do? What, what are you going to do? You're going to work your, crippy, your crappy job for the rest of your life? I mean, come on. You know, I told you before, the government is not going to be there for you. Your Social Security money has been spent. I mean, that's pretty much it, really. So if you don't do something, you're not going to have nothing. So um, grab this right now, and I promise you, I'm getting it myself. And um, I'm telling you that um, if you don't do this, you're going to be kicking yourself because Brad doesn't keep everything, and Steve does not keep everything on the market forever. All of a sudden, next time you want to grab it, it may not be there. All right, later on, you guys. Bye, Brad. Bye, Steve. All right, thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Bye. -bye.